Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. I'm going to be teaching you how to weld. Um, you know, making your own weld script instead of using plugins, which I do use plugins every now and then. But weld scripts are very useful, so uh you don't have to use plugins and things. So, um let's get to it. Now, welds are very useful. I just just want to say that if you think they're not useful, um for example, welding things to your character, at, like whenever they join, they join in the game, you can weld, <clears throat> um, you know, like a custom, uh, let's say, cut like a custom character or something, which I did make a YouTube tutorial on custom character, characterization, whatever, char cu customize character, I don't even know, but you know, you have your own custom character. Anyways. Um, so we're going to make two parts. So I'm going to teach you how to weld two parts together. And then I'm going to teach you how to weld more than two parts together. Now they are different. Um, you have to script it a different way. But yeah, so let's get started. So take your two parts, control G, which groups. And then as you can see, we have two parts. And then make decide which one's going to be your main part. So my main part's going to be the left over here so I'm going to rename that main now inside our model insert object script name this weld handler okay now we're going to make some variables local main equals actually let's do local model equals script dot parent dot no just script dot parent because you know we're inside the script and it gets the parent so that's just a variable that accesses the model then we're going to do local main equals model and instead of doing model dot main we're gonna do model wait for child main just in case it has not been loaded we're gonna wait for it uh, copy that and then yeah I just had misspelled it then local other part so we're gonna name this other part um which is going to be just our secondary part oh I keep all these typos and then Whatever you have in these uh, either parentheses or, um, I'm sorry, no, in the quote or apostrophe. I, I use apostrophes, but it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, whatever you have there, make sure it's the name of this other part. So, as you can see, the name is part. Okay. But the variable name does not matter. So, the reason why I tabbed my... Uh, these variables it's it's kind of like a hierarchy you know you got the model and then you got main inside of the model so that's why I did the tab is just for organization for me okay now we're going to make a weld so local local weld equals instance dot new instance dot new pretty much just makes a new object a new instance inside the the game the server um now we're going to make a weld then we're going to parent this, that's what the commas for, parent it to main. So we're going to put the weld inside of main. Now, there's three things whenever you want to learn weld. There's weld.c0, weld.part0, and weld.part1. We're going to start with uh, part 0. So part 0 is your main part. So it's pretty much your main part so whatever you parented the well to just put that at part zero so equals main part one is your secondary part so our secondary part is other part which is gonna be this other part right here so keep in mind this is just with two parts I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it with more than two parts in a little bit then you have well dot c zero which is pretty much the C frame um, the C frame offset of both. Okay, so we're gonna make the C frame, the the offset to uh main. So main it just put the first um after the equal sign just put the first word as whatever you parented it to, which is main, and then do dot C frame and then inverse. I wish I knew how to explain inverse. I'm really not sure. I only know how to use inverse on welds and like nothing else I don't fully understand it um, but yeah 
and then multiply and just put the multiply sign and um, other part dot c frame other part dot c frame and that's basically it <clears throat> um, also make sure the two parts the anchored is false now what I'm going to do is just drag this part up and I'm just gonna put it in dif these different colors the main parts gonna be red secondary is gonna be blue I'm gonna run this and see what happens now I probably will tilt because more weights on this blue part yeah okay so it's gonna tilt because of how this now if you were to move this red part it's just gonna break the weld if you didn't know see there's no more weld inside main anymore but yeah welds are very useful um okay now we are going to do more than one part so I'm just gonna duplicate this by hitting control D and then make three more parts so we're still gonna have our main part make sure to you know you have one part named main and uh okay now we can remove this keep our we don't need we don't need other part anymore because we're gonna have more than one secondary part now okay now we're going to create a for loop so for i v in pairs and then we're going to search through model and then we're going to get all the children inside of this model and do okay now we can check if v is a because since we're going to be checking through this model we don't want to get this weld so we're going to check if v which in this case v is everything inside the model so we want to check if v which is the children if one of the children is a part then so if it's a part so it's now it's gonna exclude this script so it's now we're gonna be looking through these so then we're going to make local then we're gonna make the weld local weld equals instance dot new weld we're gonna make this weld inside of our main which is the main part as you can see right here then weld dot c zero equals instead of v let's name it child so if you change child right here then you need to change if child is a part and yeah so we're gonna change the well dot c zero equal to main dot c frame inverse times child dot c frame then we're gonna do weld dot part zero part zero is the main part so the domain and well dot part one equals child now we are going to run this and yeah let's see what happens as you can see they are well all welded and yeah make sure um the anchored is false and then we have four welds sweet so that's basically it guys uh if you have any requests please request now some requests i don't get to i don't you know get to do it maybe i forget or i'm not sure how to do it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed later